Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to talk to you about a beach that has some of the oldest surf history in California, Trestles. <laughs> Trestles Beach got its name by the wooden trestles that would hold up the railroad track. In 2012, it was replaced with a concrete bridge. Trestles Beach is actually one of many beaches which makes up San Onofre State Beach. So in order to properly get the history correct, I'm going to need to address the entire San Onofre State Beach because with the amount of history that goes into this entire portion of the coastline. A common misconception with trestles is that it is located in San Clemente when it's actually located in the very north part of San Diego. Sorry Orange County, but you can't have all the nice beaches. Why can't we be Back in 1933, a man named Lorne Whitney Harrison first discovered San Onofre Beach with him and a few buddies. Here we see an iconic photo of Whitney sitting next to the Duke, who paid a visit to Harrison in 1948. In 1942, Camp Pendleton Marine Base was established and it cut off access to San Onofre State Beach to the public. But that didn't stop the dedicated surfers. There's more than a few stories of guys getting arrested after jumping over the fence to go surf. There's even a few stories of guys getting shot at after they've crossed the military fence. In 1971, President Richard Nixon worked with the military base to sign a 50-year lease and make this two and a half mile stretch of coastline into a state park and would grant access to the public this way. Shortly after Nixon took office, he purchased a home just north of San Onofre State Beach in 1969 to what he called La Casa Pacifica, or what many would call it the Western White House, which Nixon would treat as more of a hideaway. More recently, the California Transportation Corridor Agency, or the TCA, was seeking to construct a 16 mile long stretch of six lane wide toll roads, which was graded for eight lanes, through San Onofre State Beach and a habitat reserve in Orange County, which would join the San Diego Freeway at Trestles. The toll road, which is one of several routes that could be constructed to extend the California State 241, is favored by several business groups and public officials from Orange County to ease future traffic congestion. Members of the Beach Boys, 38 California legislators, including California State Senator Barbara Boxer, along with many other supporters, teamed up to try and pass legislation and get San Onofre State Beach historic status. This historic status would protect the beach and the coastline from any kind of highway construction like the 241 toll road. As I mentioned earlier, President Nixon signed a 50 year lease back in 1971 to allow public access to San Onofre Beach while that property is still owned by Camp Pendleton. That 50 year lease is coming up soon in 2021 and there's still no firm decision on what's going to happen with San Onofre State Beach. And of course there's no way I couldn't finish this video without talking about the San Onofre Surf Club. The San Onofre Surf Club played a huge part in the California surf culture as we know it today. With having the mentality of making surfing a priority, motivating young people to start surfing, and working alongside other agencies to help preserve the coastline. Surf culture today would be a totally different place without the San Onofre Surf Club. Focusing more back on the Trestles portion of San Onofre State Beach, anybody who follows competitive surfing knows that Trestles is where champions come from. Trestles is broken into a few different waves, but Lowers is where you're going to find the perfect wave. That's where they hold all the competitions like the Hurley Pro. Just paying Trestles a visit during a good swell, you're likely to see rock stars like Jordy Smith, Felipe Toledo, Kelly Slater, and the list goes on and on. For its shape and size, some consider Trestles to be the best wave in the world. Trestles is basically two waves in one. It's a spilling wave, which gives it a really nice high shoulder, which is great for doing tricks on. And it's also got a plunging side to it too, which gives it that nice deep tube that we're all used to seeing at Trestles. What gives Trestles its unique shape and size 
is the buildup of sand that starts about a mile offshore and is a magnet for south swells and is guaranteed to be about a one to two feet higher than any other peak in the area. Well, that's been your history lesson today for Trestles Beach, more specifically the San Onofre State Beach. There is a lot more history that goes into this beach than I could fit into this five minute video. But if you like what you saw, make sure to click on one of these videos right here. Don't forget to click up in this button right here to subscribe for more. Make sure you watch more videos. Well, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.